Hey friends, I'm doing something a little different this weekend. I just headed south a little bit down to a town called Abbott, Texas. It's a real small town, but the significance of this town is it's a place where Willie Nelson lived. I think he was actually born here. I know he went to high school here. He went to college down the road, I think in Waco. So we're gonna go and check out the boyhood home of Willie Nelson. This time of year, I really start thinking about my mom and miss my mom a lot. She's been gone about 20 years, but something she really loved was the spring in Texas. She loved the wildflowers, mostly the blue bonnets. So every spring, usually around Mother's Day, we would go out and find a nice place in a field of wildflowers to have a picnic lunch and just enjoy each other's company. A lot of times we would come out here in the Abbott area and try and stalk Willie Nelson because my mom was a huge Willie fan. She just loved him so much. So yeah, there's lots and lots of stories of stalking poor Willie. Well, we never ran into Willie here in Abbott, but uh, we sure did have some great times hanging out, looking for him. There's not much left of this town. It's pretty run down. But let's see what we can find, shall we? You would think there'd be some sort of informational sign or something, but... And honestly, it's been so long ago that I used to come out here with my mom that I don't remember which house was Willie's. I really don't remember. But it was just a simple little house. I do remember that. I believe it was yellow. <laughs> Willie Nelson and his sister Bobby were raised right here in Little Abbott, Texas by their grandmother. And this little Methodist church was the church that they attended. This is the first place where Willie learned to sing and found his love for, for music. He really enjoyed the gospel music and him and Bobby enjoyed singing. So that is where Willie Nelson got, got his start. Now we're gonna go find his boyhood home. He said he lived with his grandma. His mom abandoned him shortly after he was born. So he was raised his entire life by his grandmother. He later purchased this house. Oh, he also purchased that church. He bought the, the Methodist church, that's his now. And that little yellow house right there, star on the side, that's Willie Nelson's house. That's his boyhood home. I don't know what's going on there now. Seems to be something is. But yep, that's that's where Willie grew up. See that big barn in the back? I have a feeling that holds his tour bus. Just a feeling. Willie's grandma cooked for the the Abbott school system. That was what she did, and he attended high school here in Abbott. Believe it or not, he was a football player. He was very athletic. He was way into sports. So I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna go try to find that school. I bet I took a wrong turn though. I do that a lot. Something tells me this is not the school Willie Nelson went to. Maybe that one might be part of the original school. I'm not sure. But something tells me this is not how the school looked back when he went here. Or when his grandma was the cook. I just doubt it. To the little town of Carl's Corner. It's just a jaunt from Abbott. This is another place Willie Nelson liked to hang out back in the day. Let's see what there is to see in Carl's Corner. This corner was 
the home of Willie Nelson's biofuel. I don't see any signs of that still being a thing. But I'm pretty sure that's where we are. Hmm. Interestingly enough, the only information I could really find on this place was at geocaching.com. And guess what? Guess who found the geocache here not long ago? Papa. Papa, Texas. Since I'm friends with him on geocaching, his name came up as one of my, one of my friends that have found this geo. That's pretty cool. So what I learned about this is the original Willie's place that was here is gone now. It's at one point they moved the old building it says to the back but I, I don't see it. I don't see any any remnants of it. So they bulldozed Willie's place and built a new gas station. So that's interesting. Just drive back here and see if there's any remnants. So Willie used to have big parties here and stuff. Big concerts. Nothing here now but a truck stop. Well, that's a shame. It's a real shame. Let's see. So this is what it looks like now. Petro truck stop. Well, I'm probably not going to find the geocache because there's quite a few people running around here. Let's see, we'll see, we'll see. This guy's gonna wonder why I'm pulling up right next to him when I can pull up anywhere because I am 12 feet from a geocache, sir. That's why. So I gotta wait till he leaves. But yeah, the geocache is right there on that light pole sure of it. I will hop out and grab it as soon as he leaves and then I'll show it to you. Man, I got muggled in a big way. I looked up and these people were sitting there watching me. This is interesting. Oh, so it's a travel travel bug geocoin. That's really cool. That's really neat. You know what? I think I'm going to um, take a picture of that. Yep. And then I can log that later as discovered. But I'm not going to take it. I'm going to leave it here. That's really kind of cool. And then this is the little log. It's got a little ring in it and just a log to sign. There's an eraser and a wishing stone. I can't tell on the Geo app how long ago Papa Texas found it. Let's see if I can find his name. This looks like a pretty new log. I bet you. Bet you it's been maintained since Papa found it. Dang it! I would love to find his name on here. That would be so cool. But now this only goes back. To July of 2016 and I bet Papa found it before that. I don't think he he geocaches a whole lot currently. Anyway, I am going to put my name and today's date. It's March 18th. The last time this cache was found was four days ago and six days ago and somebody before that. Pretty cool. Alright, those guys that were watching me, I think they're about to leave, so I can hop back out, put this back, get on down the road. Carl's Corner, huh? Willie used to play here. That's pretty cool. Probably back in the 70s, not sure. That was fun. love about geocaching. It takes you to places that you might not even realize that that's a historical place. Um, there's no sign of Willie Nelson. No mention of him. I don't get why you wouldn't name drop, you know, and make a few bucks off of the fact that 
that was Willie's place. You would think that would make more people pull over and check it out. But nope, no sign at all. Very strange if you ask me. I really want to thank you guys for coming along with me today. I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your comments. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had any fun experiences with Willie Nelson in your life. I sure have. Stay lost, my friends. Mm -hmm.